Hey, creative friends, it's Cindy from Cindy's Creative Journey on Facebook. Um, as promised, I'm giving you a short tutorial on how I made the background for this card. Um, the first thing you're going to need are the brand new color splash sheets. They are watercolor paper, love it. 140-pound um, cold press, you get 20 of them in a package. It's one of the best pieces of watercolor paper I've seen, um, unless you're buying professional grade watercolor paper. The next thing I used are the Fun Stampers Journey color splashes. I used it in Blue Lagoon and in Shimmer Gold. And the final thing is a water bottle that you use. Actually, there's one more thing. A sheet of clear plastic. This one comes out of our brand new stamp packaging. Um, you can save it from all of your new stamps that you're going to buy come July 1st because you're going to want everything, trust me. Um, but that's what this came from. So what you start with is you put your clear sheet of plastic down and you take your sheet of the color splash paper, watercolor paper, and you saturate it with water. You spray it with water and set it aside. Then you shake your color splashes up. Make sure you shake them up because the pigment, pigment and all of the mica flakes and everything stay in the bottom and you want all that goodness floating around in here when you spray it. Okay, and it doesn't take very much. You can either spray it like I'm going to do, just a few drops like that, or you can take the lid off and dump some out. But when I do that, I always make a mess and I end up wasting too much and I don't like to waste things. And then you take your water bottle, excuse me, as I make a mess, and you make a big yummy puddle there, okay? And you take your piece of Color Splash watercolor paper that you saturated, saturated with water and you just stick it in that big pile of the splash. All right, and you can move it around like that. Okay, and of course I didn't have a roll of paper towels sitting here. But you can take a paper towel. I made a huge mess on my color splat sheet. Okay, so I take my clear sheet of paper, I wipe it off and put it out of the way. Now the other thing that you can do is you can turn your heat gun on it and you can kind of chase your water around a little bit. But I like drying my watercolor backgrounds before I go on to the next step of this. You see how it's curling up? If you flip your paper over and dry it from the other side, again, it flattens out. And the reason it does that is because the paper fibers in it. So as it dries, it's going to flatten out some. I got that nice watercolory look of the blue. Then, see, check out all this mica flake in the bottom of the gold shimmer. Definitely shake it up. And can you hear the, the ball bearings, the marbles in there? Make sure you hear that when you're shaking it. And you can turn it upside down and you see how there's not any of the mica in the bottom. Because if you don't shake it, then when you squeeze your trigger, all of the mica gets sucked up in your tube and it clogs your tube. And then I kind of just dropped it on there where I wanted it. And the fun thing is, watch this. If I add a little bit more water, 
and I can play with it. Okay, so it ran a little bit more. Or the other thing is you can you can repeat the same technique where you drop a couple of drops of the color splash on there and then say I wanted some there. And it's just a light shimmer case then. But it kind of to me it reminds me of the light coming in through the ocean. So that's how we made that fun background for this stamp that we or the card, sorry, that we did. All right, you can you can add as much gold or as little gold, and you can do that in all of the colors of the color splash. Here again, you can order your own at funstampersjourney.com backslash Cindy Bristow. The color splash sheets, which are these, 140 pound cold press, are item number JM-0076. The Blue Lagoon is IP-0084. And the Gold Shimmer is IP-00-81, or excuse me, 0081. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.